to another episode of the Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. Thank you for joining us. Kev, what's the deal, man? Man, moving and shaking, living the dream. Blessed, man. Blessed. Excellent. Hey, we're going to do what we always do. We're going to review a new film for you today. The film we're reviewing is called Remember. Do you remember? Easy, Michael. Oh, sorry. Uh... Sorry, y'all. Confessions of a Michael Jackson fan. Uh, not that remember. We're reviewing this film called Remember, which is rated R. Has a runtime of one hour and 34 minutes. Uh, this film is a drama slash thriller. It's about an Auschwitz survivor who goes in search of, a, of the person responsible for the death of his family. This film was directed by Adam Egoyan. It stars Christopher Plummer, mm -hmm. Martin Landau, Dean Norris, and Henry Zerny. What do you say we take a look at the trailer? Let's do it. We are the last living survivors. Stand by the window. Who are you? Please, don't yell. This is Nazi. Nazi. A bad person. Did your father ever talk to you about Germany? Are you kidding me? No, he's a collector, right? What's that? I'm sorry, I... <laughs> What's going on here? I will go sit down! You gotta answer some questions right now! Do you want to continue? I must finish. I must. doesn't love a good revenge film. Kev, I don't know if it's just human nature, but it's kind of hard to go wrong with revenge films. They just work for some reason. Right. But the trippy thing about this film is that, you know, we get thrown a curveball because typically in the revenge films, right, you got somebody like a Denzel Washington or Bruce Willis that's some trained assassin and they go on a killing spree and right. they're very capable of doing what they need to do right Denzel to get, Washington and the equalizer. Equalizer, exactly. I mean, you know this brother is qualified to get the job done. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little bit different here. <laughs> you got this little old Jewish man who's living in a nursing home, uh, who's played by Christopher Plummer. Right. Uh, he has dementia. Yeah, suffering from dementia. Suffering from dementia, uh, which greatly affects his memory. He's the man <laughs> that is on this mission to get this revenge for the for the person that's responsible for killing his family. And uh, his dementia is so bad that he wakes up every morning thinking that his dead wife is still alive. Yes. Okay. Questioning where is she? Yeah. Absolutely. And even just the thought of that and seeing that play out mm -hmm. brings it home. You make it just it even makes you think, man, it's like right. if I didn't have all my mental faculties, how scary that is right. is in of itself. And how he negotiates his way from day to day, mm -hmm. okay, and continues to live his life is really challenging, you know, for him and it's challenging for the for us as the audience to watch him go through this. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Um, you mentioned revenge and that this is a revenge tale. There's an old proverb, uh, he who embarks on a journey for revenge should dig two graves. Okay, and that is exemplified time and time again, over and over again in this film, and in very powerful and strong ways. Uh, this film takes its time, okay? Uh, it's like a coiled snake, pit viper, okay? That rather than striking at you quickly, mm -hmm. kind of takes its time to uncoil itself mm -hmm. and before it bites you on the ankle <laughs> later on. I mean, it, it really is a fascinating piece of film work. Yeah. You know, what I love about this film is that, you know, the premise of the story for the most part is is fairly simple. Right. Um, but as you mentioned about just like the execution of it, I mean, it's it's brilliant. Right. Um, the fear and the thrill come into play in this film with Christopher Plummer's character. Um, his, his character's name is Zev. Mm -hmm. He has two diseases, right? He has this disease of dementia, which is scary enough. Right. But then he also has this disease of revenge. Uh -huh. And so you're constantly 
watching this whole th thing play out, the the additive that goes in that really you know puts put me on the edge of my seat right. is the concern and worry about his safety, right? Dealing with this disease as right. he goes off on this 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 mission to you know try to find the killer of his family. Right. The easiest way that I can describe what this film kind of reminded me of, of is if you take Christopher Nolan's Memento and combine that with uh, Brian Singer's App Pupil, mm -hmm. okay, and, and kind of mix those two together, then you have an idea of what to expect from this film. Uh, Christopher Plummer is so brilliant, yes. okay, as he inhabits this role. Um, he, build, you, he builds sympathy, you know, from the audience, okay. Mm -hmm. Not only do we feel for him, but we also fear for him as well because as he goes on this journey for revenge by himself mm -hmm. okay having to constantly look for you know mnemonic devices and clues to remind him who he is and what he's doing every day you know you feel really scared and frightful for him and what he's going to encounter as he goes from step to step to step. Yeah, great acting across the board. Uh, honorable mention to Dean Norris. He, oh, yeah. uh, he makes an appearance in this film. That's right. you know that's Hank from Breaking Bad. Uh, does a phenomenal job. There's a great scene between him and Christopher Plummer. Right. Uh, the direction was great. Uh, I thought it was shot very well, and it, it was shot in a way that captures um, this feeling of isolation, right? right? So this 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 little this old man with this dementia that's traveling across the country, that's just out there, and I mean it's it's literally chilling, right? Um, and um, yeah, I, I I thoroughly enjoyed that. Thoroughly Everything enjoyed that. in this film is well done, and um, without being ostentatious or over the top or obvious, you know, it, it unfurls in a way that surprises you mm -hmm. you know in the end uh very well done i'm not going to give away any spoilers or anything like that but i think you will be very satisfied with the way this film uh you know basically turns out i would agree with that kev you uh think we can throw some points on this thing yeah let's go ahead and do it okay hey uh for me again i thoroughly enjoyed this film um straightforward story like i said revenge but the there's a twist, right? That there's a there's a nice twist on a revenge story, I guess is the right. way to put it, with you know, someone who is dealing with a disease, right, right. that is not fully capable, but they are the ones seeking the revenge. And I could a, appreciate the originality of that. Right. Uh, with that said, I give this film an eight out of ten. Right. Very yeah. highly original film. And a, and the type of film where you really don't know exactly who you can trust. From a character standpoint, okay, mm -hmm. whose whose point of view or perspective is reliable, particularly as we're dealing with somebody dealing with this particular disease, um, Christopher Plummer has forged a career out of playing Nazis and Germans and so on and so forth. So this film basically uses that as collateral to build on this particular character. You know, as he plays this, um, you know, this 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 Jewish. Uh, elderly man who was at Auschwitz, who was in a concentration camp, who had to deal with the terrors and the horrors associated with that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this this role of Zev is a fine addition to his awesome legacy. Yeah. I give this film an eight out of ten. All right, it's really hey, good. And when we twins today, eight and eight, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you have it. You got an eight from me. Got an eight from Kev. Uh, ultimately, you decide. But uh, we're recommending that you definitely check this film out. Right. Uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Or check us out on Twitter, at The Movie Brothers. Yep. And don't forget to check out our website, which yes. is also uh, The Movie Brothers. So you can find us at themoviebrothers.com. We're also on Facebook. Got a Facebook group. You send us an invite, we'll accept, and you'll be in. As always, reach out to us. Holler at us. You know we always Absolutely. respond when you, when you get at us. And if there's something that you're curious about, a film that you want to know what our perspective or our thoughts were. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe we didn't shoot an episode for it. We probably wrote a review for it, though. So check out our website and be on the lookout for that. There you have it. We are the Movie Brothers. I'm Ant. This is Kev. And this is the place, the one and only place, where we bring you nothing but the real on, on the, the real. real. Peace.